How to speak to sell. I think I was born to do this. So I have the number one record in the world as a woman selling the most from a sage. So I know this inside and out. In fact, I probably am gonna have to really like consciously reduce my time with you because I could talk to you for four or five days and how to do it really well. So let's just do the highlights right now. The top three things I wanna talk about for you today, the art of capturing your audience, number one, and how to engage them, that's critical, and have them with you the whole time from the minute you take the stage. Number two, how do you actually do that sale? And I'm gonna give you the art of how I designed my PowerPoint to create that happening. Number three, the secrets to a successful sales presentation. I have my trillion dollar tips in hand and I'm gonna give you the biggest one at the end of what I do completely different. I learned from one gentleman, paid six plus 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 figures for him to teach me this one thing and it is what's made me all my money so you better stay tuned till the end to the last minute. Ready, go. So the art of captivating your audience. Well, one of the things I do, and I do it very differently, it was fun talking to a woman who's having me back on her stage, and she's like, I'll never forget you told me this, is I get there early. I get there at least an hour, two hours, if not a day in advance, if it, the environment's really unfamiliar or the audience is. And I'm a little different because I'm so mature at my talk track and my, my offerings and what I do is that I really tailor to the audience and not that I actually break integrity to what I'm speaking, but I speak to them directly. So I don't have to have such a staged conversation. And I'm not only networking, I wanna know like in the audience, I'm talking to them, what do you want? My, I'm gonna talk about money. I'm a millionaire maker, I usually have my book with me. What are a few things you want me to talk about from the stage? Even though I know what I'm gonna talk about, I wanna hear from the audience before. The second thing I do, and it's really during the preparation of the contract of when I'm coming to speak, is I want them to tell me, whoever's hosting me, if I'm not hosting myself, I want them to tell me who's the audience, how did you market, are they buyers, are they just, you know, event junkies who just wanna come out and have a little networking event, women who wanna have a new best friend. Like, who are these people? Are they known to buy? Are they there to learn? Is this just like a casual networking? I'm just filling in for a quick little 45 minutes because there's always a speaker at lunch. Like, what's the context of what I'm doing and is it actually a sales environment? If it's not a sales environment, again, knowing your audience, and knowing the host that's putting you there, maybe you just get their names, phone numbers, and emails and offer them all a huge gift and then follow up with them later. So you really gotta know going in what you're getting into. And I learned this on the offshore oil rigs. I'm gonna give you a little story. I would go out and I would have 272 fitness centers and offshore oil rigs, and I never knew who I was showing up to or what if, what issue was going on. Somebody might've hurt their back, they have bad nutrition, they might've had a heart attack, whatever's going on, I have no idea until I hit the rig and I have no idea what kind of facilities they have. When you're preparing, you have to really control your environment. You have to know what you're walking into, what your offers are gonna be, or your gift's gonna be. And if you need to track it, what are your affiliate links gonna be? There's a set up to selling from the stage that I don't think enough people talk about. So a lot of the art of capturing your audience is understanding your audience before you walk into them. So understanding the stage you're going to be on. I don't know how many times I've arrived. This just happened. Like we're filming here in 2023, January 9th, 2023. I was in North Carolina, no PowerPoint, no LCD, no nothing. And I came ready for all that gear to be set up. So we figured it out, but I can tell you, I was ready to go live without any PowerPoint, any computer, any whiteboard, anything. So you have to know your environment and be well, ready to be flexible to them. And you can't let them know that you're concerned when you're up there. So how do you know about them? Again, are they buyers? Are they, you know, looky loos? Who are they? Cause you want to really posture your whole talk. I mean, giving a gift and offering a sale is a very different experience and it's a very different wind up and a setup. So if you're just giving a gift, it's more of a conversation of inclusive everyone. You want everyone to give you their information. If you're going for a sale, you're targeting. You want the specific people that want your offer to run to the back of the room or come to the front of the room. That's a whole nother technique. I'll just give you one quick lesson on. If you don't have support when you're out speaking anywhere, don't send them to the back of the room and then get questions while you're trying to walk back there. You're gonna lose the audience, bring them to you. So say, come to the front of the room. You can get your books, you can get your whatever you're doing and give your offer up there and have them come up to take pictures. Now, number two, selling from the stage. So I teach a technique called ask, tell, ask. And then the, the link below, I have tickets to my millionaire intensive and marketplace. I want you to come and really dig into that training of how I do an ask, tell, ask. And I do that same exact technique from the stage. I start with a quiz. 
always. And even if it's just a verbal quiz or actually if it's on a PowerPoint and I'm clicking down the PowerPoint, I'm known for a seven to 10 point questionnaire and I'll have people like, you know, take a quiz, they'll stand up, they'll raise their hand, they'll sit down if they flunk. I have a whole variety of techniques. The reason I'm doing that is I'm again, building rapport, getting the audience to talk to me in the beginning. So many people go up and they spend the first three to five minutes telling them all about themselves. No one gives a crap about you. You're there to share with them. This isn't about you, it's about them. So when I show up, I, I'm Laurel, the millionaire maker. I want to talk to you about money. Who taught you about money? And I get them talking to me. And if they don't talk, you stand there and you ask the question, I don't care if it's 10 times, who taught you about money? So this is a conversation. I need you to talk to me. I'm going to talk to you. You're going to talk back. This is a conversation. I'm not giving a presentation and I'm not going to just teach you a bunch of stuff. By the way, you're not teaching them anything until they pay for it. You're just getting them engaged in what they want. So I want to know, I start with the quiz. I get them engaged right away. I build rapport like that. I get them talking to me, which means now we have a dialogue of back and forth. So when I ask them to go to the back of the room, they've already responded to me in a variety of ways. Many of you, and again, I love some of these speaker training places, including Toastmasters, but they teach a one directional presentation style. I don't believe in it. I don't care if I'm in front of thousands and thousands of people, which I have done from South Africa to Kuala Lumpur to Bali to around the world, Dubai, I get thousands of people in the audience talking to me, raise your hand, go to the mic, scream it out. I'll repeat it. I want them engaged or you're not going to have as much of a rush. That was a trillion dollar tip, by the way, if you need to reverse my little video and go check it out. And that's critical that you actually get there in advance, know the audience, and then start with a dialogue and a conversation back and forth right away. As far as body language, tone, all of those kind of things, you know, be your brand. You know, for a long time, I was out of brand because I hired an image consultant and I had like a PR person and they're like, well, you're in finance, you should be in a suit. Well, I got rid of that stuff long ago. I'm a cowgirl from Nebraska. I wear boots, jeans, leather, lots of bling, and that's my brand and I wear it all the time. So I don't care. I'll, I'll never forget, I was in a green room with Richard Branson. And he looks at me, he said, you're up next, aren't you getting ready? I said, I am ready. He said, you're in jeans and a leather jacket. I said, exactly. And high heels, I'll put my stilettos on right before I go on stage. And he said, what are you gonna do? I said, I'm gonna sell them. I'm paying for you. That's how this whole thing works. It's fabulous. Anyway, so if you're interested in how I do all this, I have uh, done it all and I'm a tell all, super transparent. Join this channel, like subscribe, click the notification button, share this with other people. If you wanna be a speaker, author, trainer, I am your trainer. I've made hundreds of millions of dollars as a woman in this space. Most women educate and nurture from the stage. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna help you. I'm I'm going to sell you something and then we're going to begin the solution. And I could tell you women, I did it your way for a very long time where I just gave and gave and gave. Here's when you know you fail selling from the stage. When people come up to you and say, oh my God, that was so fabulous. I learned so much from you. You're like, oh my God, I just blew it. You're not there to teach, you're there to sell. So get really clear on what you're doing. So share this with other people, please. If I'm not talking about something you want to talk about, put it in the comments and show up. Listen to this every day. Not just because I need the watch time. I need you smarter than you are today, tomorrow, when we have a conversation or you talk to my team. Now, the last thing I want to talk about really quick, because I again could talk about this forever, is the secrets of a successful presentation. Again, you're going to have lots of training modalities and ways. There are some people who say, do it in a mirror. No, the mirror doesn't talk back. Do it in front of people. Now, I am a huge fan and I'm a real, real like strong fan. Do not practice in front of your friends and family. They're different. They know you, they know your idiosyncrasies, they know all your things. Like you want to practice this in front of a cold audience. So how do you do that? Well, find somebody else who's preparing to do a presentation and start selling from the stage. And you present to their audience, they can present to your audience. You want to present to people who don't know you because you're going to get an honest reaction. The mirror is not going to tell you anything. It's going to tell you if you have your makeup on right or your, you know, beard needs share, you know, shaved or anything. It's not going to tell you anything. You need to interact with humans and give you feedback. The best sales training that I've ever done, and I will do it with you. I do offer that time in three hour blocks is uh, I would fly in and then we would totally dissect my videos. The last big tip I'm going to give you came from Bob Proctor. He uh, was looking at one of my videos. He said, Laurel, you look nervous. You are kind of sweating. By the way, if you are just a sweater, wear black, wear something that's not going to show you're sweating. That's just not cool. And you're going to, so wear clothes that are going to make sure that you are just, you know, take care of yourself and take care of you know, the audience. This isn't about you. Bob Proctor said that he said, Laurel, you look nervous. I said, well, I was Bob. He said, why are you so selfish? This isn't about you and what people think of you. This is about them. So get curious about the audience and then get curious about changing their life and you will make more money than ever. And that's all he needed to tell me. 
There's no nervousness. It's also why I start with a quiz. I want to know about you. I'm about you serving you and you're going to run to the back room and buy my stuff. Let's roll. Talk to you tomorrow.